Katie. Hi. How are you? I'm really good. Good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. My name is Dr. Matt. I'm going to perform your first gynecology examination. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Can you please verify your first and last name and your date of birth for me? Sure. It's Katie ASMR. My birth date is March 20th, 1989. Perfect. And do you identify as a female or transgender? Female. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is I will go over a series of questions. I want to make sure that I have a lot of information about you and that mm -hmm. I know you really well. And after that, I will perform a wellness examination, mm -hmm. which means I will make sure that I check both breasts for any lumps, any discoloration, um, any abnormal discharge uh, from the nipples. And then I will check your... Um, pelvic area and make sure that there is um, nothing abnormal. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you taking any medications at the moment? Yes. I'm taking Wellbutrin um, and Trazodone at night to sleep. And do you know how many milligrams of that? 150. Yep. And how many milligrams of trazodone? A hundred. Okay. Are you suffering from any uh, conditions other than insomnia? No. Okay. Do you have any allergies to drugs, nuts, or latex? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Do you remember when it was your first ever period? I was 14, yeah. Okay. And how many days are in between each period? 28, 30, about, every month. Okay. And how many days does it usually last? My periods, they last like three days only, but they're really heavy. So it's like I'm getting it all over with at once. Okay. Yeah. Are they very painful? The periods aren't painful, but I do get cramps. And those can be very painful. Are you taking any birth control? No. And have you ever received the Gardasil vaccine? Yes, I have. All three doses? All three, yeah. And when was your last menstrual period? It was about a month ago. I'm waiting on my one, my next one. So any, any minute now. <laughs> okay, so around... Yeah. The 10th? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the date of your last pap smear? Like, that was like five years ago. So I would say, what would that be? I can't do math. Um, 2017? Yeah. Okay. And have you ever received any abnormal results? No. Okay. Are you currently sexually active? Yeah, from time okay. to time. Uh, have you ever had a mammogram? No. Have you ever had a bone density test to no. test for osteoporosis? No. Have you ever had a colonoscopy done? No. Any surgeries in your lifetime? I had a bunionectomy, and this was about 10 years ago. Yeah. Any hospitalizations for any reasons? In, in my life? Well, yeah, when I was a kid, I went, I had pneumonia and it got really bad and I was hospitalized for a couple days. Wow. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll ask you some questions, but I want to know if you identify any of the disorders with, with any of your family members. Okay. So I'm looking at your mom, dad, any siblings, um grandmother maternal and paternal okay. and grandfather same paternal and paternal mm -hmm. any ovarian disorders no any breast disorders my mother um she was 55 and she had a mastectomy and now she's completely fine okay any colon disorders um no Diabetes? No. 
High blood pressure. No. And any heart disease. No. Do you have any brothers or sisters? One sister. Do you smoke? No. Do you use any recreational drugs? No. Do you exercise regularly? Yeah, I do. I walk a lot. Yeah. Okay. okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you write your name right over here. Sure. Uh, your date of birth, your signature, and okay. this will allow me to do the examination. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take your temperature. Um, I'm looking for even slight changes in your temperature that would indicate ovulation. Also, if your period is just about to come, so that's going to give us uh, a very good indication of where okay. you are in your cycle. Hold it for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I'll put this on your index finger. Ninety nine percentile on your own air, heart rate is seven eight. Okay. So I'm also gonna take your blood pressure. I want to make sure that it looks very good. Go ahead and cross your legs for me, please. Okay. I'm going to put this right here on your arm. Mm -hmm. And it's going to give you a squeeze. Blood pressure is 118 over 70. It's very normal. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to have you do now is I'll give you a gown. You're going to go ahead and change. Okay. And then we're going to perform the wellness examination. Okay? Okay. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll check your heart. Okay. Again, this is not what we do on a regular basis when you would come and get your uh, annual gynecology exam, but sure. this is just a baseline that we want to have before we uh, start to give you care. Yeah. Go ahead and relax. Very good. I can hear only S1 and S2, no S3, no S4. Mm -hmm. So no murmurs heard. Can you take a deep breath in? 
and breathe out. And again, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And is it okay if I open up the cone? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. So I'm looking at your chest. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty symmetric. Mm -hmm. I'm not noticing any discoloration. Both breasts are equal in size. Skin is normal. Is it okay if I palpate? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start with your right side. So what you could do is you could do the same thing once a month after your period ends mm -hmm. um, while you're in the shower or while you just woke up from from a nap mm -hmm. but it's very important to do it after your period because then you would not have any any pain and you would just slowly palpate make sure that you don't feel any lumps mm -hmm. and if you do we would have to have them checked okay okay but everything yeah. looks very yeah. very good I already kind of do that in the shower. I don't. I never like palpate. I just kind of. Mm -hmm. just yeah, same. Like... That's what it means. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check for any abnormal nipple discharge. Okay. Very good. I'm not feeling any lumps. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I will check your armpit area. Okay. So I'm not feeling anything swollen. What I'm going to have you do now is I'll have you lay down and I'm going to do an abdominal and pelvic examination. Is that sure. okay? Yeah. Okay. What I'm going to do first is I will visually inspect, make sure that I'm noticing, I'm not noticing anything abnormal. I'm looking for any lumps, um, any discolorations, and let me know if it if it's uncomfortable in any way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a look. Okay, I'm not noticing any lumps. Everything is symmetric. And uh, what I will do is I will gently palpate around make sure that there is no swelling mm -hmm. okay very good so what i'm going to do now is um, we're going to do a pap smear i'm going to use my speculum here and I will open up the cervix. I'm looking at the cervix, uvula. Make sure that everything is within normal. Okay. So I'm going to use my speculum here to open up the vaginal canal. And I'm visually inspecting for any polyps. Okay, very good. gonna feel a little bit cold okay that was
was very good. So what I'm going to do now is I will take just a small sample. Okay, on the count of three, I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and then breathe out. One, two, three, and breathe out. Almost done here. Okay. okay, we're just going to do a few stitches on the cervix area. So what you're going to notice in the next 24 hours is a little bit of brownish discoloration. I just want you to know that it's perfectly normal, it's to be expected, and it doesn't mean that um, there is a complication with the procedure. That's good to know. we have all the samples that we need what I'm gonna do now is I'll just slowly palpate your um, your pelvic area any pain there okay if your ovaries are not enlarged I'm not noticing any masses, no pain, no tenderness upon palpation. Mm -hmm. Alright. That's good. Good. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do is sit up and we're gonna discuss the results. Everything looks very healthy. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I had one thing in mind. Um, is pelvic pain normal? Like when you were pushing on my um, pelvic area, I did feel like a little bit of pain. I didn't know if it was because I'm about to have my period or if okay. there's anything else to be worried about. Well, if it happens just once in a blue moon mm -hmm. or um, if it's just a very slight pain, then that could be okay, yeah. but um, if it's uh, something that happens regularly, if it's kind of an intense pain, then mm -hmm. that could indicate some other things, and I would definitely want to check that out, okay? okay? Um, there is a little bit of cramping when a woman ovulates, mm. So, but again, that cramping is not supposed to be anything intense. It's just be like, okay. ooh, I feel this, but it's not supposed yeah. to be painful. Yeah, I'm thinking that it was just, I'm just sensitive down there right okay. now. Okay, what we but. could do is, I would love to have you in for an ultrasound just to have a base of it. Okay. And this way we can definitely make sure that nothing is abnormal. Okay. But definitely pain is not a normal thing. That's good. Um, it should not hurt when you have a gentle palpation. Mm -hmm. And it should not hurt if you're not on your period either. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep checking the area too then after my period and but yeah, I would like to have an ultrasound. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna schedule you for an ultrasound and I will call you back with the results after we do it. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds great. Thanks. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. I'll see you back soon. All right.